It is March 20th, 2023. Today's a palindrome, and we're gonna talk about knives. Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. These are 11 new knives for the week, and we are very excited to jump right into it. We've got the Microtech Brachial with the new black finished blade. I love the Brachial. It might be my favorite Microtech Auto. And one of the big reasons why is the button is a little bit harder to push than a lot of other buttons, but the spring is also significantly harder and more snappy than most autos have ever held. So it gives you the authoritative smack you've come to expect from a Microtech, but it is also very easy to control because when that button finally fires, you're gripping the knife really hard. So it's not gonna fly out of your hand and cut you, but it looks really good with this nice, sweepy, slicey blade. I'm thinking if I'm like, like it looks tactical and it looks very microtech, but I could see myself using this for slicing fruit. Like just on a picnic, yeah. Who needs an open L when you can carry a microtech? That's my question. And it better be your question too, because who doesn't love a good microtech? Anyway, these are going for 433 at Blade HQ right now. Pick yours up before the run is over. Next up, new from Ferrum Forge, we have the Zellex. And this is a very small knife. When I first saw the picture of it, I'm like, okay, it looks about Ferrum 4G, but it's quite a bit smaller. Like it's barely a four finger knife for me, but I really like this Tanto point. So it gives you a double flat. It's got a flat on the edge over here and a flat up on the point as well. So you're gonna get a nice st sturdy edge all over. And if you need to get into to do some slicing like on a rope or something, that Tanto point's gonna put your edge right on the table. It's gonna be really nice for you. And like all Ferrum Forges that we've seen around, this is a very slim knife, and this pocket clip is about the smallest pocket clip you can have that'll actually retain your knife. So it's a convenient knife for everyday carry. It fills out the hand well enough, but when it is small and folded, it is just pocketable and easy to carry. By the way, I'm sorry, I accidentally chose a lot of green knives this week. Maybe I'm just feeling green, but the next knife on the table is the AKC Smarty. These ones are going for $54.95, and this is an interesting automatic. So it's much like the ProTech Magic Whiskers, have you seen that one, the BR1, where it has a bit of a bolster lock. So if you look here, you see these screws, they're attached to the back spring here. And you have to slide the bolster to the side. I see my slide in that bolster. That's what opens and unlocks the knife. If you're looking for an automatic that is a bit of a conversation piece that isn't gonna break the bank, I think the Smarty might be the one for you. Got a nice milled clip, very everyday carry friendly. And I'm enjoying this sheep's foot blade. Speaking of everyday carry friendly, I'm thinking for most of what I do every day, a sheep's foot excels. And then of course that action, like we talked about earlier, it's a great knife to hand to somebody else and be like, hey, what do you think of this knife? And they're gonna try and open it and they're gonna be like, what? In fact, that's what everybody who has come into the set today to look at the knives has said, like, what? It, it, it doesn't open. Well, yeah, it's an automatic and you gotta push the lever and it's fun. It's a whole conversation. Next up, we have the Concept Knives Integra. And this is a fairly new thing, and it, it's an M390 titanium frame lock. It's a very premium knife. But what I wanna talk about is the coating on this handle. So this coating is silicon carbide. So you might have heard of tungsten carbide. You'll see it on blades from Sandrin. You might have it on your ring. But it's very hard, and it's often used in drill bits. And same thing with silicon carbide. But silicon carbide adapts a bit of a matte texture. I like that, it kind of almost has a bead blasted titanium, maybe halfway from titanium to zirconium finish. But it's silicon carbide, which is almost as hard as diamond. It's 9.25 on the Mohs scale. So it is not gonna scratch by anything in your pocket. Unless, unless you carry diamonds in your pocket. I don't know what you're doing. But very nice thing and it looks so good. This gunmetal gray with the matte finish. I'm excited to see cool coatings like this showing up on knives. And I wouldn't have it any other way than on this concept cancept. I guess Marshall at the booth told me to say cancept. So the cancept with this integral backspacer as well. It's just a beautiful knife, easy to carry, easy to love, and a frame lock with a nice titanium reinforcement, excuse me, a steel reinforcement. It's a great knife and it's very affordable too. A lot of the time when you see a titanium frame lock with an M390 blade like this, you're looking north of 300 easy. But this one is going for 239 at bladehq.com and that is a really great deal, especially with that newer high-tech coating and the first time I've ever seen a silicon carbide coating on any knife. Next up from Olight in the O Knife series is the Freeze 2. This one has a 154 cm blade and this lovely green aluminum handle. And I have recently become quite enamored with aluminum handles. 
They look good, they wear in really well, and they're just smooth and soft on the pocket, but they grip the hand well. And I think Olight has been killing it on the knife front as well. This is a very clean drop point design, and I expect this will be a very good seller because it reminds me a lot of some of the most popular knives you've ever seen. I'm kind of getting some Civivi Elementum vibes, maybe some Benchmade Bug Out vibes of just a clean, regular, deep carry, pocket clipped, everyday carry knife that is unobjectionable to anybody. I don't think there's a person in the world who carries a knife who would have any reason to not carry this one. So if you're looking for buying a gift for somebody, you're, this is a pretty safe bet, the Olight Freeze 2. These ones are also fairly affordable. You want for $79.99 at Blade HQ right now. And once again, offering you a premium blade steel, that 154 CM. Taking it very budget though, we've got the Petrified Fish Loco. And I was talking to Dallas, one of the buyers, he's in charge of Petrified Fish. And he shows up and he's like, hey, what do you think of this? And I held it, I'm like, that's a knife, it's big. It's got this nice flat ground, broad drop point blade, and it just feels like a knife that wants to go to work. It is a knife that you put in your hand and you're like, where's something I can cut? Anything, I gotta cut something. <laughs> that's one thing I really appreciate about it. And I, I like this one with the green and the satin, but you can also get a black and black version. It's a liner lock with D2 steel, and the price is right, $34.95 at bladehq.com. Oh, look at that, it's got a deep carry pocket clip with a recess too. Man, what a time. When I started working at Blade HQ, most of the knives that were on the budget side, you could tell, like they had, like the technology for milling out the pockets for the pocket clip right here, wasn't quite there yet. And because of that, if you wanted that feature, you'd have to spend a lot more on a knife. But now, on the $35 petrified fish, we're getting D2 and a recessed pocket clip. What a charm time to be into knives. Speaking of, now that we're talking about that, we have a new brand called Kunwu, and this brand has, it has me in love. This is the Dow X, and this is a titanium handle, an LMAX blade, an LMAX, I, I personally prefer it to M390, but they're sort of in the same family. And then it has this crossbar lock, and in the box comes different springs for it. So if you break one, you can replace it, or you can just move up to a higher spring if you want a little bit more tension and you can swing it open or it's got these nice thumb studs. It is an absolutely stunning knife. And I know what you're thinking, an LMAX blade and a titanium handle, we're probably looking three, four, five hundred dollars $500. You are wrong. These are going for $209.95, which I think is absolutely unheard of because you are getting the top of the top of the top of the line materials. Excellent build quality, smooth, buttery, drop shut action, super solid. You feel the quality in this. It feels like a thousand dollar knife, but for $209.95. And if you're not into the crossbar style locks, check out the next one from them, the Kunwu Orion 2. This one's $208.95 and it's a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert, an LMAX blade, a really nice flipper action, and like no, no pressure on the lock drops really well. Not too fast, it's not gonna cut your finger off, it's not a guillotine, but it's a very smooth knife with these premium milled texturing spots, nice hidden pocket clip, excuse me, a nice hidden lanyard hole there. It's just very high quality knives at prices that are unheard of for knives of this quality. And I am very excited to see where Kunwu takes this brand. Next up on the tactical side, we have the Max Venom D-Max. And this is a Karambit. Uh, it's very thin and lightweight and skeletonized karambit. And I, sometimes on skeletonized knives, it's hard to get a handle that works just right. But this one just vanishes right into your fist. If you can make a fist, you can hold this and it'll be perfect. But this one also has a Nitro V blade and this sort of rocked back hawkbill blade. I, once again, I've, told, I've said it a million times. I don't know the first thing about knife fighting, but I will say this is one of the most comfortable karambits I've ever put my hand around and it's so slim and light, and it comes with a nice Kydex sheath. It's currently set up for neck carry, but I would probably get maybe get some soft loops and run this inside the waistband because it's flat on this side, so it's not gonna give me any hot spots. A very concealable karambit as well. I know there's a, pe there's a faction of people out there who are very into karambits, and if you are, the Max Venom D-Max, I think might be the one for you. These ones go for 131 at bladehq.com right now. Next up, we have the Damned Design Fenrir Fixed Blade. So the Fenrir folder came out a little while ago and that was very exciting. 
the fixed blade is the one that's really got me impressed because it reminds me so much of a Santoku. So I mean, it's a damn design. I'm sure as a tactical knife, it excels well, or just an everyday carry sort of outdoor style knife. But I, like I'm imagining like I have a tomato here or something. This feels like a kitchen knife in my hand, but it comes with a really nice Kydex sheath with a tech lock. So, I mean, if you're like out in the field or you're going on a picnic or something, you could do a whole lot worse for a kitchen knife than this one. That's how I would use it. If you see a different use case for this one, for this Fenrir fixed blade, please tell me what it is because I see this as a kitchen knife, but I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder as is function. And then lastly, this is a, a, a this is a knife we've seen before, but it's new. This is the H2 version of the Spyderco Man Bug. H2 is what the Salt series is moving towards, and there's a whole story about that. You can check out our blog at bladehq.com about what H2 is and why it's important. But you're just getting even more corrosion resistance, is the short story. And the Man Bug is such a small thing and. Nice, easy to open one hand, get three fingers on it, or if you wanna reach a finger up there, you can get a fourth. A very small keychain size, controllable knife, and it will never rust on you. And this one's the serrated. I personally like serrated on these because H2 and H1 aren't known for their edge retention, but that serrated edge gives you a lot more edge retention for what you're doing. And it's a great last ditch knife, and they are here at Blade HQ for $64.05. Anyway, that is 11 awesome knives. It's been a great week, and we hope to see a lot more stuff like this in the future. Let us know what you like. Subscribe to see more knife content. We'll see you on the next one.